All right, here's the other guitar that I fixed. Not as much of the wood is showing over here because there wasn't as much damage on this one. And I was able to get it really tight up in there where it's almost exactly flush. The neck is exactly flush with the body. And uh, I need to see whether or not this one has been adequately repaired using two screws, uh, two washers, and some Elmer's wood glue uh, for that section. I let it dry for about two full days. So, I left them loose so that it wouldn't pull it off as it's going. So I have to get the first string first. First string first. I'm the realist. Oh, that looks good. see I tuned it to itself and then I checked to me like that's where my ear will tell me where to tighten that string to um, so to tune it to itself you have to do the fifth fret of the fifth strings all the way up to the third string which you do the fourth fret matching to the open second string then the second string fifth fret this is supposed to sound like this right about there and once it's green on my little three dollar Eno ET33 tuner um, so the neck hasn't separated so it looks like we're doing pretty good here fell out of tune.
once you initially tune it, it doesn't hold its tune until you wiggle it a few more times or tighten it a couple more times. A little bit of it is the neck getting adjusted to the new tension and the strings also getting adjusted, adjusted to the new tension. Some of it is just because of the way it's wound here, it might tighten up. Um, or whether or not it's moved beyond here or here where there's like all that tension on here and it takes a while to stretch out. So the strings need a while. And once you play it, you can start hearing uh, it's probably a little off, then you gotta retune it. It's hard to get to. So, great. Sounds good. Repaired it. And it works. So, I'm a happy camper.